Right guys, welcome to today's video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my New Japan figure collection. You guys seem to really enjoy the AW roster video and I thought, you know, why not let, let me do a New Japan version of that. So I'm gonna, I've got members of the New Japan roster here in figure form and I'm going to just be showing you guys uh, those who I've got. I have checked some of them and some of them are signed to New Japan despite appearing in other companies that you may know. Uh, however... Uh, I do not have many, that is, uh, but I am looking in 2021 to upgrade the New Japan roster uh, for the pick fed and everything like that. So, yeah, some guys here are not in the pick fed, some figures are used, uh, some figures I have shown before, some I haven't, uh, well, one. But, uh, yeah, we're going to just go through them and let you guys uh, know what I think of them in New Japan. I do try to keep up with it, there is so much wrestling to watch, and I did watch a lot of the G1 uh, throughout October, um and yeah that was a great event but you know watching wrestling every day for a few hours does get a little bit overwhelming sometimes and you know a lot of the matches are just you know let's have a match but that is what new japan is it's a lot more you know sports based just full-on wrestling i'm going to be better than you but there are some really interesting storylines that i picked up on throughout watching the uh, g1 climax even if i was stuck on japanese commentary for a while i thought it was really easy to uh, understand what was going on uh so yeah as i say looking to improve the roster collection uh, throughout 2021 but let's go right into the first one and of course we have to kick it off with the golden boy of new japan the you could say roman reigns of new japan uh always pushed to the top but rightfully so okada definitely one of the best in the world uh you guys might saw my customizing video on this earlier in the week definitely want to get a more accurate okada um but yeah this will do for now we've got the awesome john morrison robe and Okada is currently feuding with Will Ospreay. I believe Ospreay attacked him after the match with um, Big Evil something guy. I don't know. O o evil Okan or something like that. I don't know. I forget. Uh, I haven't watched it in a while. Uh, but yeah, I will definitely be watching Wrestle Kingdom. Cannot wait for that at the start of January. And Okada, Ospreay, I'm sure they will kill it. Just like they did in their G1 Climax match earlier this year. Uh, but yeah, Ospreay being a heel. Okada being a face. Uh, I wish Okada would not use that crappy submission he keeps using. Uh, I forgot what it's called now, but the, I like how he is saving the Rainmaker for when that eventually hits, you know, in front of a crowd, even though there was crowds there throughout the G1. Um, so, yeah, that's one good thing about New Japan. They had crowds back because, you know, they took, they took the virus very seriously uh, over in their country, so uh, they could have cr a limited crowds back, you know. The only But they couldn't shout or anything. They could just clap, so that was a bit strange. Um, yeah, really glad uh, Okada is going to Wrestle Kingdom. Obviously, he wouldn't be off the card, but against Osprey... I'm sure it will be a lot better than their G1 match, which was already amazing. And, and speaking of customs that I've made, I uh, made this one uh, in the first video of Daily December, Colt Rabushi. And yeah, this head scan isn't that accurate. This is just a Justin Gabriel. But I thought this worked pretty well for what I had. Um, I'd go watch that video if you haven't already. But yeah, it's pretty basic. Uh, I do plan to get a proper Ibushi made because I really do like Ibushi and his work. He won the G1 two times in a year, uh, in two years. Uh, in a row that is, and he actually lost his opportunity to go to Wrestle Kingdom to face uh, Naito, was it, to Jay White, and I do believe Ibushi has a match against Jay White, and if he wins, is he added to that match or something, I don't know, uh, we'll have to look into that a bit more, but uh, yeah, did not expect him to lose, win the whole tournament and then lose uh, like that, that was, uh, I was a bit like, what was the point of the tournament after that, but then they haven't done that like, they, I don't think they've ever done that, so that's really cool that they um, actually pulled the trigger on that. And speaking of Jay White, here he is. Uh, this guy is used in BFW. Okada isn't right now, but he was used a couple months ago. I'm just kind of waiting for a good figure to use. Uh, but yeah, this Jay White is awesome. Look at this head scan. Made by Bubble and Squeak Customs. Already did a video on this a uh, few months ago. But yeah, this is really nice. Def I changed the boots out since then, I think. Um, but yeah, definitely want to get an updated Jay White as well to make it more accurate. This is just a Victor body and uh some boots and knee pads added and the head scan but yeah great jay white here for now it does it does its job and as i say he's going to compete for the uh iwgp world heavyweight title and the intercontinental title i believe uh in the main event of wrestle kingdom will abushi be in that match i'm not too sure um i would be surprised if he's not in that match um because they love playing the underdog story with abushi man and also in this video i haven't included people like kenny omega and the Young Bucks, who um, have been in New Japan before. I'm just doing the current day roster. And I will get onto some guys who you guys might not think are signed to New Japan. But I've looked on the roster list on Wikipedia. And both these guys are listed. 
Um, so yeah, I guess I'll go into one of those. Now we're going to Chris Jericho, who was obviously in AEW, but apparently he is signed to New Japan on Wikipedia. So I, I imagine that means he can make an appearance if he wanted. Um, but yeah, Jericho is probably the main reason I started watching New Japan back in 2017. You know, he attacked Omega, set up that massive match, and ever since then I've really enjoyed New Japan when I've got a chance to watch it. Uh, I usually watch the main shows like Wrestle Kingdom, Dominion, uh, G1. I uh, definitely want to try and watch that again next year. Um, yeah, great uh, Chris Jericho figure right here, obviously the AEW one. You would have saw this in the AEW video, but the Painmaker um, had a few good matches against Kenny. Yeah, I believe he had a match against Okada and Naito. Uh, his feud with Naito was pretty good. He won the Intercontinental Championship. I uh, wouldn't mind him winning another New Japan title at some point. And the next controversial one is John Moxley, who is the former AEW World Champion, but is still the IWGP US Champion. Look how big he is. Um, and yeah, I'm surprised he actually kept the belt on him for that long throughout the pandemic. Obviously, there's not much he could do, but he is now still a champion. And I'm surprised it wasn't like someone attacked him backstage from New Japan to sell that partnership, but instead we got Impact. Uh, I'm sure New Japan and AEW will do some kind of you know joint show once... Uh, crowds were allowed back and everything that would just be incredible john moxley let's do john moxley versus i don't know you already faced suzuki but i'll be down for that again um but yeah john moxley right there iwgp us champion and we've got two left i know i told you guys this roster was small but we'll go into it uh, we have will osprey who is signed to bfw and man i really need a better attire for this it's just black and red this is like starter will osprey um, he does have the bigger torso because he is a lot beefier now and uh, he's put on the, the pounds and the muscle so he is going to compete. I do believe he will win the world championship one day. Um, I, it's only a matter of time now uh, since he has beefed up quite a bit but yeah I definitely want to get a better custom Osprey made at some point because this one is too dark and I have already filmed the BFW Survivor Series and him and Rollins were both in black and red attires and I didn't realise until it's too late so you guys will see that once that show is out. Uh, but yeah, Will Ospreay, obviously one of the best wrestlers in the world. And yeah, despite, you know, what people think of him outside of wrestling, uh, he is one of the best in the world, definitely. His match against Takahashi this year at Wrestle Kingdom was great. Uh, his G1 matches were great uh, that I saw. But yeah, great wrestler. And finally, we have this custom elite, Kenta. Formerly known as Hideo Itami in WWE. I don't believe I've actually shown this figure on camera properly uh, this was made by sky king customs over on instagram the same guy who made the amazing luchasaurus and jungle boy and a bunch of other stuff he even painted this okada scan uh, and gave it to me uh, but yeah this kenta is great i had to get one i really thought kenta was going to be the one to attack john moxley um backstage he may he still may have been we still don't know who properly attacked john moxley um at the time of recording this but yeah kenta this is a great figure definitely wanted this i used to have a hideo Itami. But I sold it because, you know, he wasn't really doing much and I wasn't really watching New Japan at the time. Uh, and it was just black and way too tall. But yeah, this one is great. Thank you, Sky King Customs, for that. And Kenta, it, he has the um, he has a briefcase or something like that. Um, I don't know. Is he like, what is it called? I forgot what the thing's called. I forgot what the briefcase is called. Um, as I say, I'm not an avid watcher. I don't watch every single thing. But, um, yeah, is it the... Is it the uh, Super Cup or something? Super... I don't know. But yeah, guys, that is it for this New Japan roster. As you can see, my knowledge isn't too great of New Japan, but I am learning. And yeah, I've really enjoyed watching the shows this year that they've done. Definitely some match of the year contenders. Uh, definitely go check out New Japan and New Japan World. It's literally only like seven, six pound a month. Uh, and you get to watch all the shows uh, live. And I think they do have English commentary now because they've handled the pandemic pretty well. So that's always great, and they have crowds back, as I've already said. But yeah, guys, be sure to leave a like on the video. Let me know who your favourite member of the New Japan roster is. I definitely want to get in the future um, an, e an evil at some point. Tripod is going so bad. Uh, evil Sonata, uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi, um, Zack Sabre Jr. I did almost buy a Zack Sabre Jr., but it was like 100, 100 quid uh, or something like that, 80 quid. And I thought, I've already got too much talent to use. I don't need a Zack Sabre Jr. yet, but maybe someday I'll get one. Because uh, I absolutely love Zack Sabre Jr. He's incredible as well in the ring. Um, and a great heel. Uh, but he also played a really good face in the G1, which I liked. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video.